How is it going, Guilty Gear Strive fans? It's been a while, I have missed you guys. But today, we are gathered to appreciate the newest DLC character theme available. Arc System is dropping DLC characters even more consistently than I am doing content. How do they do it? I don't know, but we are here for it. If you are new here, I am a musician who is getting corrupted by Japanese and video game soundtracks, and I am absolutely loving it. Like and subscribe, let the insanity begin. Elfel Deem Extras? Okay, we are all extras in someone else's story, I guess. Good title. <laughs> Oh yes sir, this shit is, is nasty already. Oh oh <laughs> Holy gross, this shit is amazing already. It's crazy because it's nasty, it's harsh, but it's also a little bit adventurous because it has the same progression of, for example, the roar of the spark uh, main riff, which is bam, da, da. But when they are returning to the first chord, the first degree, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it is the first degree of the scale, but with the bass in the fifth, which gives a little bit of a different sensation, a little bit of a more um, aggressive sensation actually i love the riff and the vocal seems to be insane man the gross no one can find me it's a very introspective song <laughs> this is what i'm talking about hell yeah Oh, holy fuck! Oh. Wow! <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Oh, the double, double pace pedal. <laughs> hallelujah! You're saying hallelujah in this brutal song? Wow. What the hell is going on, man? Up to the chorus, it was a song, and from the chorus on, it was another different song. The contrast here is crazy, guys. I don't know. Daisuke is great, bro. Having contrast allow you to see things better, to appreciate details, to appreciate different textures, and our vibes, feelings, moods. And I did see that the singer from this song is not Naoki, but uh, another thing, like Daisy, like something like that. But we have two singers, you know, the girls and the clean one, the clean female one. But uh, it may be the same. It may be like, um, for example, Arc Enemy singer. Or, uh, yeah, there are plenty of female singers that do roles. But this is absolute insanity. How? Maybe she was doubling herself. Her supporting vocals were the roles in the chorus section. And the lead vocals were the clean kind of vocals. Also, this song is so interesting. Because it describes an inner conflict already solved, if that makes sense. And it's also pretty rare to find find an introspective song to be this aggressive but maybe 
the difference and contrast between sections proves how this person is struggling between two sides of of herself two versions of herself wow i don't know what's happening because the first half was well not half the first quarter of the song was pretty yeah aggressive and powerful and even creepy and now it's kind of pinky kind of uh, feminine of wholesome of happy <laughs> this is <laughs> crazy is the only word man hallelujah i can't believe this is the same song man no cap Wow, the storytelling. <laughs> See, he's happy as fuck. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you see, oh, you see, it, it, it's amazing, man, I, I love it, it's crazy how, again, before the chorus, everything was thrash, death metal, even some black metal kind of riffs, those in the chorus, and, no, not the chorus, in the pre-chorus, but from the chorus, we got more power metal vibes, even from the double pace pedal from the drummer, and from now on, we have a more commercial style, the drums groove is pretty interesting, also the lyrics, I don't know, these clean vocal sections are more oriented towards personal growing, actually, everything is, but in this section, she's recognized in here all the flows which is pretty interesting damn so much meat in the fucking song man oh and this section bro the vibratos from the guitar player who is apparently daisuke someone told me in another video i can't believe it man i can't believe it they are so freaking tasty and that not solo section but harmonized melodic passage was just insane insane playing a little bit counterpoint and pedal notes i love that shit you know i love that shit street peaking Love to hear it. <laughs> A little bit of pop wholesomeness. Oh, and this part's so warlike. With the snare. Again, the first verse. She went back to being an absolute beast, it seems. Oh, you fucking sir, bro. Oh. Oh, this section is my favorite. Total favorite. This is the black metal riff I was talking about. It's very subtle. <laughs> Some kind of bolt? Holy. For one second I read, I just need weed, that's all. <laughs>
Bro, this interlude is phenomenal. Time signature change. We are now in 3 over 4. And the strings arrangement is so freaking phenomenal. That's the word. I won't use another word because that's the exact word. You know, there are some mm, soundtrack and or composer type of purist people that don't appreciate the metal uh, or rock band format compositions. They need to hear these sections because this arrangement was pretty clever. I I love the way the strings wow were intertwining with one other uh, with one another wait wait a little bit before at first the strings supporting the main melody from the vocalist and those triplets those triplets were like ascending to fucking heaven. And then what? <laughs> Everything is so perfectly inserted here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, this fucking chorus is. I don't know, bro. A little bit like Dorky, but it's so freaking contagious. So fucking wholesome, this section is getting me, man. Extra's life? What? Okay, now now I understand it. Holy shit. This section proves that you can be a pinky pretty girl and be a total badass. A frightening, terrible badass. Holy, it's all about contrast. Even the way she sings when she's doing the clean vocals is crazy because she's not overexcited. She's actually pretty chill. If you pay attention, she's really quiet. Not in terms of volume, but of attitude. She's just chilling. The vocal part there has not excess of vibrato or anything. It's just a little bit... Uh, plain but the growl sections even we had some screaming some kind of screamo ish vocals at some points those are i don't know those represents an inner struggle and violence lots of violence ready to be unchained <laughs> except for this well, I can't sing that uh, high, but you know what I mean. Except for that part, every part in the chorus... It's kind of casual in the chorus and in this... Verse. It's like, she's very serious. Even in this emotional section, her vocal performance is not wow over transmitting things and that's the intention how you can be chilling with how you can be chilling leaning more towards the calm part of of things in general in this section compared to when you are an absolute beast, this may be my new favorite song, man. Well, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if new... I don't know, man. This fucking game has so many bangers. It's impossible. I need to do a tier list, but that shit is impossible. We will be ranking, like, almost all of them in S tier. A little bit of that. Few of them in A tier and, like, one or two in B tier. That would be a, a tier list if we do one. This dim... Ah, I don't know, man. I would give it an S tier, but it is just because I liked it so much. But thinking about technical complexity and stuff, there are other themes that are S tier absolutely. So this would be an A. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, because of subjective love for it, I will give it an S grade. Yes, sir. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments, how would you rate this freaking new theme? And well, let's hope we will have more DLC characters coming next. Have a blast of a day. Peace.